to find some homes for rent, we're going to head on over to Google and type in Casas in Renta Orizaba, basically houses for rent in Orizaba. And then we're going to click on the in Weblace 24 listing. It will always be one of the top options when you search that in Mexico. And uh, from here, I already uh, found a couple that I want to show you. So I'm going to click over to these. So I was just looking through the listings really quickly. This one is a little over $200 a month at 4,100 pesos. It's about a thousand square feet. It has two bedrooms, one bathroom, and let's look at some pictures here. So I, I like the color scheme in there. The tiles are kind of old, but I mean, at this budget, at a $200 a month budget, uh, you can't expect the world. But I mean, it seems like a decent little place. I mean, you decorate it the way you want. I think you could turn it into a livable place. And this one is about $500 a month at 9,000 pesos. So uh, this one has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two parking spaces. It's about 2,000 square feet. So let's take a look at some pictures. Looks like it's inside a little gated community here. Quite a bit of space, not the best pictures, not the best lighting in the pictures. However, in my experience, that's a way to generally get better deals on rentals. When they don't take good photos, oftentimes the good rentals go unrented and you can, you can snag a good one when the photos aren't great. Blue toilet, that's a little bit weird, but <laughs> uh, I mean, it seems like a decent little place and at 2000 square feet, you have quite a bit of space in there. But to be honest, this website usually isn't great if you're looking for cheap rentals. So in my experience in Orizaba, especially like there's not a lot of great real estate options here. That's one downside about that this city. So you may have to look a little bit harder to find good rental options or good options to buy than if you're looking in other cities. But I think the best place to look for cheap rentals is to go to Facebook marketplace. So to get to Facebook marketplace, basically from your profile, you're just going to search marketplace, buy and sell nearby, click on that. We're going to change the location to Orizaba. Uh, I'll do Orizaba Centro. Uh, so that's going to be like the center of the city, 10 kilometers. That covers quite a bit of an area. So I'm going to, I'm going to lower that down to five kilometers. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. And then we're going to search Casas and Renta, houses for rent. Uh, and they do require you to put a price to have a listing here. Uh, so a lot of people will put one peso or one, two, three, four. So to get rid of all of those, I'm just going to do a minimum of 2000 pesos and a maximum of 20,000 pesos. So minimum of about $100, maximum of about $1,000. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on the first listing I see here, 5,500 pesos a month. So we're looking at about 300 US dollars. It has a house for rent with three bedrooms. It can be with furniture or without, located in Zona Centro. So it's located in uh, the best part of the city, the part of the city that most people are going to want to be in. The kitchen looks pretty nice. I mean, for $300 a month, that's, that seems like a pretty darn nice kitchen. And you even have uh, a walk-in pantry area there, which at this price point is pretty darn rare. Pretty spacious living room. I mean, look at what you're getting for $300 a month. And you even have uh, a peninsula here with a stove on it. I mean, I would rent this place. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, I love this for $300 a month. Okay. I mean, with that, I don't think we need to look at any more rental options here. Like this is the one I would rent. <laughs> so let's say you rented this place for $300 a month and you have a budget of a thousand dollars a month total. That gives you $700 for your other monthly expenses. And in Orizaba, in my experience, the city is so darn affordable that you're going to be living like a king here. <laughs> You'll be able to go out to eat every day. You'll be able to do all the uh, visit all the attractions, all the museums you want to. 
You can probably even have a car and do some traveling. And then you live in a pretty decent place. So I think that's a killer option, but let's go check out some homes for sale. So same deal here. We're going to go Casas Inventa Orizaba this time. And then we're gonna click on the Inmuebles 24 listing and we can sort by price if we want to, but it seems like there's nothing super expensive here. I'll just click on the very first one I see here. So this is 3,300,000 pesos. If I can do the math in my head, that's gonna be like 175,000 US dollars at today's exchange rate. This home has 219 square meters of construction. So you're looking at 2,500 square feet or so. It has two bathrooms, one half bathroom. It doesn't put the number of bedrooms, which is weird. Oh, it has it right here in the title, uh, three bedrooms. But anyway, let's take a look at the pictures. Very nice living room. I, I like the looks of this. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see myself living here. You have a interesting staircase there going up. That's pretty cool. I like that. Huh. Oh, look at that nature you have outside on your from your patio here. Those gorgeous green trees of Orizaba. I love that. Bathtub. This is actually pretty rare in Mexico to have a bathtub in a home, unless you get into the really expensive homes. Like when you start looking at the homes that are renting for $3,000 a month, $5,000 a month. Yeah. Almost all of those are going to have a bathtub, but they're usually a jacuzzi and not a bathtub. But yeah, seems like a pretty nice place. You have a little yard back there. I like it.